Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We will continue design and implement our event-driven microservices real-world app. One of the most important parts of designing a new system is analysis. There are many ways to analyze your future systems. Every of them is less or more suitable for the type of the target system. As I promised, these videos will be more practical and I will show you which technique I've used in my slash your system. Let's jump to the event storming. That's a great way to discover target systems or enterprise domains. Event storming is especially useful for designing event-driven systems. We'll use it practically and directly for designing our system. But you can find so many very useful videos about theory out there. The best way to use this technique is with a group of people from the technical and business world. You can combine physical and remote presence in these sessions. We will not use a physical dashboard in our case, but we are going to use the Miro app. It's a great app. Aim of the event storming session is to draw your system by color sticky notes. Every color has a special meaning. As the first step, we will try to find all events in our real-world system. Try to imagine that you are part of this system, like one of the employees. Every event or paperwork process has to be expressed as a sticky notes on the dashboard. It's possible to start with chaotic discovery of the system without chronological order, but I think that's more natural to find all events from the beginning to the end. Every event is represented by orange sticky note. Our system is a CRM for Tattoo Studios. For more information, let's check my previous videos. Check the link below. We will create all events which are important for the system. We will start with clients. In our case, there are these events. Client created, client verified and more and more. Another part of our business is design. The design is contract between the tattoo artist and the client. I suggest these events. Design created, design descriptions changed, design status changed and more. And the last part of our system is meeting with the customer, which is covered by an event module. We have the following domain events, event created, event rescheduled and event deleted. Now we are done with the first step. We designed just basic events and feel free to add all required events for your system. Another step is sorting our events. In our case, it's not required, because we did it during the first step. Next step is to add other parts of our system. We are going to add commands, external systems, actors and more. Now we are going to find our aggregates which are adapts for aggregate routes in the domain-driven design terminology. Now it's time to define our boundaries, which are candidates for our future microservices. You can add other elements. For example, it's very useful to use red sticky notes for questions without answers and possible issues. You can resolve it in a small audience, like face-to-face -face meeting with a domain expert. Don't try to have this model perfect. It's just a tool for better domain discovery. And sometimes it can be used just for the creation of the big picture, like in our case. And that's it for now. Try to play with this technique and let me know what you think about it. Please subscribe for the next content.